Man's hubris lets him think he is God. Is man bigger, greater, more important than nature, earth, the universe in which man finds himself? I don't see how he could be since nature evolved man. What reason do we have can there possibly be to think that nature evolved man so that he could replace nature, earth, the universe? This is exponential arrogance, the ultimate in hubris. Who said we are God the other night on BBC? In response to a 2005 BBC article by Robert Winston entitled, When Science Meets God, a commentator wrote this, we are God or it. We created God or it. We are that entity. We as a whole will attempt to spread ourselves and our beliefs beyond the boundaries of this earth, which has also become God or it, to wherever God or it takes us so we may create an even bigger God, soul, or IT, information technology. That is neither science nor rational speculation, but a massive delusion of grandeur, an egotism so inflated that it looks in the mirror and thinks the hubris it sees there is a virtue. Fascism is not some 60s buzzword or countercultural catch-all. It is a term for the sort of government that is indistinguishable from corporate power and the class interests of the oligarchy. That is the form of government we have in the United States today. Fascism does seem to map onto the Republican Party with very few exceptions. Unfortunately, the Democrats go along with it, think it perfectly fine, like sheep to the slaughter. That is what the forces of democratic equality and local autonomy are up against. The fascist agenda and its fear of pluralism, democracy, diversity, and equality. A text of today's video comments are posted at graciousconsent.blog.